<laughs> Hello, I'm Sean Pinnell and I'm with Angelo Santa Barbara. And we're here in front of Puzzles uh, Bakery and Cafe in Schenectady, New York. Angelo, I see you're here again about autism awareness. This yep. is great. It's, uh, it's World Autism Day, uh, and it's the day that Sarah opened up her, her bakery here, uh, Puzzle yes, Bakery yes. Cafe. As you know, it's a very unique model because uh, she hires people with developmental disabilities, opens the door for them to new opportunities to be able to do things, uh, hold a job, earn a wage here, be a part of their community. It's a, a tremendous model that I can't say enough about, and I hope to see more of this happening in our communities because it does uh, include uh, more people with opportunities. Right. Uh, to, to engage, to be part of a community. Today we're celebrating a birthday. We're celebrating birthday. World Autism Day. But you know what? You know what? It's it's. This is not the only event. There's plenty of. If you didn't yes. make it today, there's plenty of ways to get involved. Because April, as you know, is National Autism Awareness Month. Wow, Friday. that's great. That's good to know. Yeah. Um, wow. So it's been about two years. Two years. Yep. This is their second uh, second uh, year in business. Uh, they're doing great. She has a list of hundreds of people that want to work here. Uh, because it's that 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 much of an opportunity. Uh, so I hope that we can uh, uh, continue to advance these issues in the years of autism. As you know, my son uh, yes, was yes, diagnosed with age three. Him. He was here today. He was yeah, to you're us. a fan. You're number yeah. one fan. Yeah. Yep, he's, he's, he's 15 now. And you know, some of these challenges, they're very real to a lot of families. So we're looking to find solutions. Uh, in the State Assembly, I did pass the resolution that also made April wow. Autism Dude, going Awareness going Month going. in New York State. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. The awareness, yep. the awareness has reached new levels. And you know what? It's helping us take action and find solutions to some of these challenges. Yeah, I, I, you, got, you did a couple over the last half a year. Yep. A whole bunch of them. This is great for people deserve a chance. You've got to learn from your disability. We need more laws that modify with the people because we need to understand people with learning with disabilities. We need to get into, you know, how they think, how they learn, how they act, and it's learning from that disability that matters. That's, that's what that's we saw. The Wildwood School was here. My son yes. goes there. We saw the great. ARC is awesome. The Autism Society is here. So a lot of great partners are backing this, uh, backing my package legislation, the Autism Action New York plan. Uh, and I hope to see more people get involved uh, so that uh, you know we can keep pushing forward. Right. And New York can lead the way on these issues. Yeah. That's and what you, I like. you got something going on with the Capitol too. Wow, this is a, what a great movement, Angela. I congratulate you. I appreciate Thanks for being that. Today. That's another, you know, celebrate World Autism Day. Yeah. Not just today, but the whole month of April. There's plenty of opportunities. If you're looking for something, they can call my office and we can find something. Yeah, they're right in your online. And now we're going to go into what he was speaking about at Puzzles uh, uh, Cafe today. Let's get Barbara away. Let's get her away. Thank you. You got it. You got it. Okay. Oh, nice to meet you today. Hello. Yeah. All right. Say hi, Michael. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Thank okay. you. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Got it. Hey there. Hello. Good, good, Hello. good afternoon, Mr. Hello. Santa Barbara. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Michael. Yeah. Okay. And then um, after um, after the press conference, you speak to yeah. people here. I want to thank everybody for uh, for attending today. Uh, it, it actually is a, a really beautiful day today. It's a great day uh, to celebrate World Autism Day. And what's nice about World Autism Day is that uh, Sarah May, Sarah May, Sarah May opened puzzles on World Autism Day, so we can never forget the bakery's birthday, right? So let's give her a big round of applause. Wish her a happy birthday. And uh, I also want to thank uh, my, my partners that are joining here uh, today. It's connected ARC. Kirk Lewis is here. He's been a great partner. Let's give him a round of applause. Uh, Cheryl from the Wildwood School is here. My son, uh, my son is right behind me, but uh, he attends the Wildwood School. They're doing incredible work. I'm so happy to have you, Cheryl. And uh, uh, the Autism Society of the Greater Capital Region, a uh, tremendous resource. Uh, they have made a difference in my life. Um, and uh, uh, Janine Crash Rag is here, Executive Director. Let's give her a round of applause. Okay, I think that's everything. So uh, as I said, uh, we're, we're doing two things today. We're celebrating World Autism Day, uh, but we're also celebrating uh, the anniversary of a very special uh, business uh, that employs uh, those with disabilities. Uh, and. Uh, you know, I can't. Uh, Sarah May is really is really a trailblazer in this regard uh, for downtown Schenectady, uh, but also, you know, she's gotten national recognition for what she's doing here. This work is really advancing everything we're trying to do uh, to open up opportunities for those with disabilities. So uh, today, uh, on the World Autism side of things, this is an internationally recognized day, but it's meant to raise awareness about just how how many people are affected with autism. 
And uh, autism is the fa fastest growing disability in the country. And Janine's going to talk a little, more, a little bit more about that. But what, we, what I've discovered through my own experience with my son, Michael, my son is, is right behind me. So Michael was diagnosed when he was three. Um, and uh, he's 15 now. He's 15 now. He's an angel. He's my inspiration. Um, and uh, it has, it has uh, certainly raised uh, uh, my concern for the crisis uh, for support services that we're really facing uh, in, the, in, the, in the country and in the world. In the United States, one in 68 are born with autism each year. That's a very significant number. You hear that quite a bit. Uh, Jeannie mentions it quite a bit. Uh, that's, uh, that's, a big, that's a big statistic, but the truth is more than 3.5 million Americans are living with an autism spectrum disorder. And Sarah May, if, I, if I'm correct, 1% of the world's population also is, uh, is diagnosed with, a, with, a, uh, with an autism spectrum disorder. So each April, April 2nd, this is to elevate awareness. It's also to educate the public. It's also to talk about the issues that we're facing. Uh, I'm certainly facing different issues uh, when he was three. Uh, now he's a teenager. There are different issues that we're facing uh, as, as autism families and those with developmental disabilities across the country. Uh, Kirk uh, shared this number with, with me not too long ago. More than 128,000 people with developmental disabilities living in New York alone. That's a very significant number. And uh, I'm very happy that uh, the Wildwood School is here because I can tell you that uh, because of the work they're doing, uh, Michael was able to join me up at the Capitol earlier this year. Uh, he's able to be here and he's actually doing quite well. These are things he could not do before, so it's helping him become more independent. Autism, autism is a spectrum disorder. So that Janine mentions this, mentions this quite a bit as well. That means, what does that mean? That means it affects people in different ways. It's a spectrum. Uh, it also means that each child possesses unique abilities symptoms and challenges. But what we've discovered is there's a significant number of unmet needs. Uh, and that's, that's what we're here to talk about today. Uh, the Autism Action New York package that I introduced in the State Assembly uh, seeks to address some of these issues, some of these challenges, because one in 68 diagnosed with autism, born with autism, living with autism, that means at some point, Michael's gonna be an adult. So that means one in 68 adults will be, we'll, we'll be living uh, in New York and in the, in the country, in the world, with autism. So that means that there's a growing need for these support services that we're trying to develop resources for. Uh, and the Autism Action Plan that everybody here uh, was able to come together and support uh, that I introduced last year, uh, it seeks to address some of these challenges in education, communication, employment, housing. There's a tremendous need for housing that we haven't addressed yet. And Sharing these challenges is what inspires this legislation. That's how Autism Action New York, uh, how Autism Action work, New York works. Bringing awareness to these challenges is so critically important. That's what we're here to do today. Uh, I'm very honored and appreci appreciative to be here uh, for several reasons, but uh, we, uh, we passed the resolution in the State Assembly. April is National Autism Awareness Month. Uh, today is World Autism Day. So I passed the resolution in our State Assembly to proclaim April as Autism Awareness Month in the state of New York. And I, I, have, that, uh, I have that resolution here, of course it passed unanimously, uh, and it highlights some of, these, uh, some of these concerns. And so I thought it would be fitting uh, that on Puzzle's, Puzzle's birthday, I present uh, this resolution from the State Assembly uh, to Sarah May. So Sarah, happy birthday, and I'm very pleased to present this. Thanks everyone for coming out today. I'm Sarah May, I'm the owner of Puzzles Bakery and Cafe, and we are so pleased to be celebrating our second anniversary today on World Autism Awareness Day. So uh, we couldn't have done it without our fantastic employees, and I just wanna give a huge round of applause to all of our employees. team here, um, and as most of you know, more than half of our employees do have um, different special needs and developmental disabilities, and, and what a family we've become over the past two years. I also want to give a huge round of applause to our amazing, loyal customers, so thank you. <laughs> 
we are a small business. We are a, a for-profit business, just like all the other businesses down here in Schenectady. So we're not a nonprofit. We don't rely on donations. We rely on people coming in and eating and, and buying breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, and, and we really couldn't have gotten this far without you guys. So thank you so much for coming in and being loyal customers over the past two years. Um, so just a few words about the work that we do here at Puzzles. Uh, we, I, I opened Puzzles Bakery and Cafe uh, to, to help fill that need. We have a lot of individuals who have autism and other disabilities in our community and throughout uh, New York State, throughout the country. And these individuals, um, you know, they're aging and becoming adults. And in that adult life, uh, some of the biggest challenges are housing, one thing that we talked about a little bit, um, education, but a huge one is employment. And I just felt that by opening a, a food service operation and providing meaningful employment opportunities for people on the spectrum, we could make some kind of difference here in Schenectady. Uh, so right now, to date, we have over 1,000 applicants who want to work here at Puzzles in Schenectady. Uh, so clearly there's such a big need for other businesses to kind of step up and even just hire one person with special needs. Um, so we're really trying to act as a model and, and show other businesses that this is a successful way of doing business. And hopefully in the future we can continue to open more locations and, and help other people in their communities open uh, businesses similar to Puzzles Bakery and Cafe so that we can continue to hire more people uh, with developmental disabilities. It's very, very important. Um, so. I didn't really prepare anything else, but thank you guys so much for coming. Um, you know, today is International World Autism Awareness Day. And, you know, I think today in 2017, I think we're all pretty aware at this point. Uh, a couple decades ago, I remember when my sister was diagnosed with autism, uh, people weren't aware. As a, a little five-year-old kid, I remember going around with brochures to my classmates explaining, you know, this is what autism is, and my sister has autism, and nobody even knew what autism was. But today, I think we all, we do, we have an understanding of what autism is. And it's not really time for awareness anymore, it's time for action. So I want to thank Assemblyman Santa Barbara for all of the work that he's been doing with his Autism Action Plan. And of course, all of the other fantastic nonprofits here in the Capital Region, Wildwood, Schenectady ARC, Living Resources. Um, I think everyone's been working really hard to, to really uh, you know, do the Autism Action instead of awareness. Um, so I know we have Autism Action Day coming up on April yes. 5th, right? Yeah, yeah that's right, Wednesday. <laughs> yes, and I'm sure the Assemblyman can talk a little bit more about that, but we're so excited to be a part of the action taking place in our community, and thank you guys for all being here today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Three, two, one. Hello, I'm Sean Pennell, and I'm with... Kirk Lewis. Let's and we're at the RC. Let's RC. How are you doing today? Good, good. Good. What a beautiful day to celebrate uh, autism. Yep. Now, um, how do you help out with people with learning disabilities? Because it's more than just a learning disability, it's a learning that disability. And that's what's important because everybody are, can almost play an actor's role and say, hey, I got this problem, but can we bounce back and thoughts back and forth until we find out the answer to this problem? Yep. So how does your staff and your personnel try to search into that soul and try to fix it? Because once you find that answer, it breaks them out of their chain. Yeah. And it's I hear so many good thing. things about you. Yeah. Well, thank you. We, SCEC ARC supports people with developmental disabilities, and we, we believe in person-centered planning. We thank try you. to identify the individual, and we work with them. Um, maybe getting an apartment, maybe learning how to, um, you know, join a club, make some friends. We, yes. we, our focus is on the individual and what that person wants to do. And we use, we use assistive technology. We wow. Use, you know, all sorts of different ways. It's very much a team effort, yeah. a team process. Uh, Sarah May's Bakery Puzzles. We've yeah. got, we supported people. We actually, before she opened, we sponsored, um, we helped her have a job fair for people because she had wow. so many applicants. So <laughs> they came down to our office yeah. and, um, we have people, we do job coaching, so people mm -hmm. might want to work competitively, but they might need some more support. Some of the people who are here, we provide job coaching for them to help them 
you know, make sure they're getting the job on time. They're, you know, working through problems with a supervisor or something comes up. So yeah. it, it's, you're right, it's a team effort and it's, uh, uh, there's a great team in Schenectady County working on these issues. Yeah, so coaching is pretty much like, uh, help you do your job better, you know, and that cheerleader yep. that that person needs to make them feel better more, and then they perform better. And that's what the that's employer right. loves. And it's less, uh, less uh, money being paid to teach one employee when they can go help the other people too, and them too. But that's you know, right. you gotta, you gotta add an assistance and that's what's great about AR. See, I heard a lot of things about that. You're similar to Wildwood programs too, or you guys collaborate? We, we overlap in a lot of areas, and we partner yeah, with similar, them. They're yeah. they're a great great community partner. Yeah, they they do. You know, we provide employment support. We offer day programs. We have residential programs. Wow. Wildwood does the same thing. You know, yeah. they have a slightly broader geographic area. We're mainly in Schenectady County. Right, because you got to focus, and they got to focus. Yep. So, yep. Uh, and uh, you guys have been here a long time. Um, yes. Sixty-five years this year. Wow. It's our sixty-fifth yeah. anniversary. Well, and I think Wildwood was fifty. I think. Yep. I they're 50. Wow. This is, this yeah. is um this is great. I, I love I love things that are better than yesterday and a progress being developed because some people have suffered, but you know what? It's people preaching about what they need help in that helps continue the education that we need to help other people. Because if people don't speak up, it doesn't work and it doesn't help. But that's what autism awareness is all about. Right. Awareness, people speaking up, letting yeah. you know what the issues are. That's why Assemblyman Santa Barbara is a great guy, a great champion. Yeah. And, um, he's helped me out also too. Yeah, he's a he is a great leader. Yeah, even before he was running for elections, he's always been that neighborhood guy growing up. Yep. Sarah, and to puzzles, what a great anniversary! Um, we work downtown, so we are frequent patrons here. We are grateful for a great eating establishment, um, but we're also grateful for what she does for jobs. Um, Schenectady ARC is a parent-founded parent organization. We provide supports and services to individuals with disabilities, including people on the autism spectrum. And we offer residential supports, we offer employment supports, we offer day activities. Assemblyman Santa Barbara mentioned our direct support professionals, our DSPs. Our DSPs have been underpaid for many years because of the way we are paid. We didn't have the resources to pay them. We have had a great champion in the assembly, in Assemblyman Santa Barbara. Last week, on Tuesday, the governor joined the leadership of the assembly and the leadership of the Senate in saying that the funding we were looking for would be part of that budget. And that's a huge accomplishment, and it couldn't have happened without Assemblyman Santa Barbara. So a huge round of Um, and I just want to say a few words about the Assemblyman's Autism Action Plan. The Autism Action Plan is a collection of legislation that will assist with employment, it will assist with developing vocational skills, it will provide assistance with housing, it will provide assistance in education and helping people transition. What it will do is it will help New York State be a leader in autism supports and services and meeting the unique needs that people present. And for providers like Schenectady ARC, our mission is to help people live the lives they want to live, to provide the supports and services they need to work, to live, to play, to enjoy their lives in the community. And the Autism Action Plan is a whole kit of tools that will help us do that. It will help New York be a leader. So again, we applaud the Assemblyman, we applaud the Action Plan, and we hope that the Senate and the Assembly get on board and, and pass it this year. So again, thank you Assemblyman Santa Barbara. Thank you. So it's been uh, just a great partner, and uh, and uh, I, it, it, I know he's uh, he's very humble, but he played a big role. He played a big role in, in uh, advocating for that direct care. Uh, I think we all did. Everybody behind me and more. Uh, there was a coalition uh, that just kept drawing because we uh, got the word out on just how many families this really affects. Uh, the services that families have de have depended on for years and years. Uh, those were uh, were uh, in a, uh, it was a critical situation where some of those. We're, uh, we're not going to be there. Hopefully, that uh, when we pass the budget, uh, everything will uh, everything will uh, begin to that trend will begin to, to be reversed. Uh, and of course, uh, a part of that coalition, a part of that direct care uh, need uh, is the Wildwood School. Uh, the Wildwood School, where my son uh, goes, uh, they're also celebrating 50, 50 years. Wildwood School is celebrating 50 years. I think we should give them a round of applause for that. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, and uh, I. I I can tell you that uh, my wife Jennifer is here. She's she's right across from me. I want to recognize her. My daughter Mariana is. Oh, she's right there. Okay, okay. So uh, I can tell you that uh, I just I just want to recognize her here because uh, it's 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 a team effort here at Puzzles. It's a team effort in every family too uh, to make sure Michael has all the support that he needs 
to, to live his life to the fullest. Uh, so uh, I just want to offer them a round of applause too and thank them for Hello, I'm Sean Pinella and I'm here with Sarah Pratt. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What a happy, beautiful day. The sun's <laughs> out, and we're here about autism awareness. That's what we're here for. Yes, absolutely. For Today two. is World Autism Awareness Day. Wow. Two years ago now. This is your, um, yeah. what's up about your birthday? Yes. Yeah, wow, so, well, happy birthday. Thank well, you. You're celebrating, uh, celebrating what you wanted for your birthday, which is to spread uh, autism awareness. Absolutely. What a, uh, what a good birthday wish, you know what I mean? <laughs> Helping other people. That's very good giving. Nice. And, uh, and uh, you know, um, what made you develop this idea for autism awareness? This is very uh, original, very unique. It's very from some of the different. And I want to know a little bit more. What is that? Yeah, well, my sister Emily has autism. It actually affects one in 68 people in this country. Uh, she's 24 years old now, and what I started to realize is when she was transitioning from childhood into adulthood, uh, there's so many people with autism who are becoming adults and living these full adult lives but don't have many opportunities. Yes. Some of the biggest challenges are residential, educational, and then of course employment. Uh, there's just not a lot of employment opportunities for people with developmental disabilities, so I decided to open Puzzles Bakery and Cafe to help fill that need and employ people more people. With, uh, yeah, uh, and yeah. people with uh, uh, difference in working, we like to call it. Yep. Different abilities sure. to, show, to show us newer abilities. Yep. You're giving them employment too. And, and purpose, awesome. which I think is really important. Just kind of a reason to get up in the morning and go to work and have purpose in life. <laughs> and know you're having a team that supports you. Yes. That's so that's so great. Because there's a lot of um, people that um, don't have the... Uh, um, the profe um, the right learning how to deal with somebody that's different from the way they learn. How's yeah, that every work, everybody you know? on the autism spectrum is so unique and so different. So right. if you know one person with autism, you know one person with autism. Every person has their own unique set of skills, right. likes, yeah. dislikes, challenges, uh, strengths, weaknesses. Everyone is so different. So we try to work with them to the best of our ability. Yeah, you got and you got somebody with like Angela Santa Barbara that's yeah, here, that was yeah. here today uh, <laughs> doing his thing, uh, talking, collaborating with you. Yes. Well, community. today today is International World Autism Awareness Day, yeah. so it's great to have great. leaders from yeah, the community, people yeah. from different nonprofit organizations uh, coming out and supporting the. Boy, cause. so this is like a dream come true for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, Yes, yeah, so that's about it. I think it's been about a year and a half, almost two years, and we have seen a lot of growth from Michael. And I have to tell you that our staff are so dedicated and they work tirelessly day in and day out, learning new approaches, new strategies, new techniques, um, a lot of behavioral strategies, communication. Um, and so I was really happy to see the action plan because there's a lot in there about communication and the need for that, not just when they're in school, but across their adult ages also. Um, and our mission is to live, work, and recreate at um, our highest level of independence. So we are constantly working on that for our students. So hopefully by the time they graduate and they're young adults, um, they are able to come and work at an organization like this and or others like this. Um, we're very fortunate that we have great transition services, so people who help our students transition from uh, young high school, young adult, into the adult uh, workforce, or regardless of where it is that they're going to go for supports. Um, we're very lucky to have that, but I know that a lot of um, high schools, typical high schools, uh, uh, don't have the luxury of the trained staff that we have. And so we're really very fortunate. Um, one of the other things I was really happy to see in your um, legislative plan is um, the identification piece. I have um, something that's, uh, I should also tell you, my son Ryan is autistic and he's 26 and he used to go to Wildwood School and continues to receive um, his support there. And we had a horrible um, experience when he was about 13 years old and he was left somewhere um, and it was very scary and he didn't have his communication device and he's nonverbal and he actually seemed okay when we found him but of course we were just so nervous so I love the idea of the um, communication initiatives that you're um, recommending and um, for the identification piece. 
Um, we do have students and young adults throughout Wildwood programs that come here to either work or um, learn how to work here at Puzzle, so we are very appreciative and I'm so proud of you, Sarah May. I've known her for a very long time, um, and our families have known each other for a very long time. So I just um, want to thank you very much for everything that you're doing, and Michael is a joy. Um, and we do have 216 students um, right now, and we do have very individualized programs um, for everybody while we meet their schooling uh, and have them have experience at Wildwood. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It says uh, it's a letter to uh, Commissioner Commissioner Delaney, New York State Office of People with Developmental Disabilities. Please be advised that pursuant to Mental Health Hygiene Law 13.42, I am hereby appointing Sarah May Pratt of Outlaws, New York, to the Autism Spectrum Disorder Advisory Board in New York State. So she's going to be the first first appointee to that board. And, uh, we couldn't have a better person. So I want to say congratulations to Sarah here. I thought it's fitting to. Uh, uh, to, to announce this here uh, on her second anniversary. Uh, she's going to be on the statewide board. She will so serve us well. I know she is uh, great at uh, uh, advancing these issues. Uh, she's going to be serving with uh, several other members from across the state, but uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't be happier, Sarah. Congratulations. Congratulations. area, and we provide critical services to our families, uh, regardless of where on the spectrum of autism they fall, we're there for them. We make sure that their voices are heard, that they have the day-to-day -day supports that they need in order to survive. We're very concerned about housing, employment. We're still looking at statistics that say that adults with autism only have about an 80, or excuse me, they have an 80 to 90% unemployment or underemployment rate, which means that many of our loved ones are living at a poverty level that shouldn't be happening. Places like Puzzles Cafe not only provide immediate relief to those adults who are living in this area, but they stand as a model for the entire state and for the nation. I can't emphasize how important it is for us to provide services for those that we love with autism today in terms of making new housing opportunities available, education, employment, serving those who are newly diagnosed, and serving those who are aging in our communities. It's with the help of legislation, such as the Autism Action Plan, that we are starting to see a coordinated set and a coordinated approach to serving individuals with autism in New York State. I'm very proud to be a New Yorker. I'm also the parent of a 29-year-old who is on the spectrum. We're going to be some of the first people who are using some of these supports and services. It's been a very long time coming, and we're very, very happy to see that New York State is standing up, leading the way, and will be a great model for what's going to happen around our nation. So, Angela, thank you so much. We really appreciate every single thing that you're doing. Um, the Autism Advisory Panel is going to be huge. It really is a way for New York to look at the autism issues that are existing today and to come up with a sound plan that can be amended, addressed, grown. Everything will really, everything will come together in a way that we haven't seen in New York State before. Having Sarah May, who's a family member, a business leader, somebody who's very important in our community to speak for those of us who live with autism today and who love an individual with autism is absolutely, it's warming. It's absolutely important to me personally. So I hope you all have a wonderful Autism Awareness Day. I hope that you'll spend the rest of April, which is National Autism Awareness Month, wearing blue, wearing your super, your super costumes that you have on today. We're so happy to see two young women here who have their capes on with their autism colors on today. So have a wonderful day and a wonderful month and uh, celebrate autism. We all deserve that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, what do we think of autism action? What do we think? Thumbs up? All right. <laughs> okay. All right, thank you everybody. Thank you for joining us. This is not the only event. There'll be more. April is National Autism Awareness Month. It's also Autism Awareness Month in New York State. There'll be plenty of activities, plenty of, plenty of ways to get involved. Uh, I know there's been a couple of Facebook campaigns. Get involved. That advocacy is very important. Thank all of you for being here. I, I want to appreciate. Uh, I want to say. Uh, I, I want to offer a round of applause to uh, to the staff one more time because. Uh, Okay, that, that closes our program, Sarah, if you want. Yep. Yeah, so thanks again. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming. And I just want to make a quick note that we're open until 3 o'clock, so we've got about half an hour. 
if anyone wants cookies, coffee, meals, um, Pat and Grace can help you right at the counter. Thank you all for coming and uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you.